Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at 2021 AMC 12B problem 19. It tells us that two fair die, each with at least six faces, are rolled, where the faces on the die are between one and the number of faces. The probability of rolling a sum of seven is three-fourths the probability of rolling a sum of ten, and the probability of rolling a sum of twelve is one over twelve. And we're trying to find the least number of faces on the two die combined. So the first thing that we're going to notice in this problem is that the number of ways to roll a 7 is fixed. So it doesn't matter how many faces you have, the only ways to roll a 7 are going to be 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2, or 6, 1. Because none of the die are ever going to have numbers that are less than 0, it doesn't matter how many faces there are, there's only ever going to be exactly 6 solutions. And because of that, we know that 6 is going to be equal to 3 fourths times the probability or number of ways to roll of ways to roll a 10. So we know that the number of ways to roll a 10 is 6 times 4 third, which is 8. So now we have two pieces of information, that there is 8 ways to roll a 10, and the probability of rolling sum of 12 is 1 12. Let's use our second piece of information, which is that p of a 12 is 1 12. So looking at cases where the number of faces on our die is less than 10, we can notice a cool pattern. So when we have two die of 6 and 6, there's exactly one way to get a 12. When we have a 6 and 7, we get two ways to get a 12. If we go to 7 and 7, for example, we'll have three ways to get a 12. And let's try like 8 and 7, you'll have four ways to get a 12. And when you do this small cases you may try, you'll see that the number of ways to get a 12 can just be expressed as a plus b minus 11, where a and b is the number of faces of our two die. And because the probability is 1 12, we know that this over the number of total ways to get outcomes on our die, which is a times b, is equal to 1 12. So here all we do is cross multiply. We'll see that 12a plus 12b minus 132 is equal to AB. Rewriting this gives us AB minus 12A minus 12B plus 144 is equal to 12. And now we can use Simon's favorite factoring trick to get A minus 12 times B minus 12 is equal to 12. So from here we want to look at solutions and of course we want A and B to be as close together as possible so that the sum of our die is minimum. And note that we could try looking at cases such as 1, 12, 2, 6, and so on, but we don't actually want to do that in this case because we can have A and B, these expressions, be negative. So we could have negative 2 and negative 6, or negative 3 and negative 4, because A and B in these cases will still both be positive. So A and B are going to be the closest and the smallest when we have our first expression be negative 3 and our second expression be negative 4. So if we have a minus 12 is negative 3, we have a equals 9. And if b minus 12 equals negative 4, we have b equals 8. So you may just want to put the answer as 17, but you do remember that you have this other condition. There have to be exactly 8 ways to get a 10. And doing some trial here, you'll see that you can get a 10 by getting 1, 9, 2, 8, all the way up till 8, 2, and this is going to be exactly 8 cases. So our two conditions are both satisfied. The probability of getting a 12 is 1 12, which you can quickly double check just by writing them all out. So you can have 8, 4, 7, 5, all the way till 3, 9. So this is 6 ways to get a 12, and our total probability is 6 over 72, which is 1 12. So that condition is correct, and then we checked our other condition here. So now that we've confirmed that 8, 9 works, we know it's the smallest. So our answer is going to be 8 plus 9, which is 17. So just to quickly summarize, we made the key observation that the number of ways to roll a 7 is fixed, so there must be exactly 8 ways to roll a 10. Then we found a pattern, and when the number of dies, the number of faces on each die is less than 10, we have a formula for the number of ways to roll 12, which is a plus b minus 11. We divided it by our probability and used Simon's favorite factoring trick to find our solution of 
negative 3 common negative 4 for a minus 12, b minus 12. And then we plug them in to find our faces of 9 and 8. If you like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have a different solution to this problem, feel free to put it in the comment section. Thanks for watching.